guys, doing some overall wellness checks here, and I noticed this girl had some, just a minor case of ear mites. So I wanted to cover what that looks like and how to treat it. And a little bit, kind of, how to prevent it. So we am going to I have uh, dipped this in coconut oil already. That will help me pull some of this out. I took pictures that I will paste into my video feed. See if she can hold still. There we go, out of focus. I think the lighting helps a lot, but as you can see, it's just a little bit yellow and kind of flaky. That is a bit quick pushy very minor case of ear mites and I probably removed the majority of them already and what I don't remove I'm gonna put some coconut oil in there and that will take care of it whatever's left now we'll get a new one dip it in the coconut oil again I put lavender and tea tree essential oils in there That help the lavender helps to calm them down also with the pain and the healing process a little bit too and then the tea tree helps with um, the healing process just mainly that a little bit with the pain as well but sometimes it can sting if you have an inflamed area q-tips are pretty much my preferred way to clean the ears but I also use paper towels and kind of wrap them around my index finger sometimes and uh, put, it in, put my finger in there and pull stuff out. But this is so minor. I don't really need it, I don't think. Anyway, the mites, from my experience, prefer this. Let's see if I can even get it in the camera. Probably not. There's a little cubby hole down in there. Not the deep hole down there where the eardrum goes, but there's a little crevice. That is where I usually see the ear mites before any other place. Dip the other end in. Get all of it out. There you go, you did very good. Rabbits clearly do not like their ears to be messed with, but I really wouldn't blame them. I don't like people sticking things into my ears either, so you can expect them to misbehave. Yep, she has some flakies too. I don't know if you can catch that. Yeah, see there's little flakies inside down on that way a little more. Those are little ear mites. Okay, this is a much easier to tell case. Come on, don't do this to me again. Right there, yeah. See, it's just yellow and flaky, discharge looking stuff. Ear mites. And I am dipping this in coconut oil before I insert it into the ear. That helps to pull them out and it also helps to lubricate the area so I don't have to pour a bunch into her ear later. Like after I'm done because once on your more severe cases especially once you've sit there and put stuff in their ears for so long, they're just like, I'm done. I'm not taking this. Done with whatever your weird junk is, quit it. And basically, some say that you can just put the coconut oil in there and not have to pull any of the flakies out. And this, I have found this to be true, but the process is so much more prolonged and you have to be very persistent with it. Constantly putting in the coconut oil into the ear to drown them basically and then the eggs they don't drown 
so you would have to apply it again. And the cycle seems, uh, I'm pretty sure the cycle is about 14 days. So the adults will lay their eggs in the ear and then the eggs will hatch in 14 days. Come on, I wanna coat the rest of it. Right now I'm just coating the ear in coconut oil to drown any potential adults. But anyway, if you want to try that method, you got to do it pretty much about every two days. Yep, she's got a little bit of it too. Which, they're all next door neighbors, so it's not surprising to me at all. I'm about to see this. I have a few tips for this girl too. So you'll want to apply like two to four drops into the ear every day or every other day for pretty much a month. And if it's really bad, like um, bloody and flaky, it might take longer. And then when you add the coconut oil, they're gonna shake and they're gonna itch and they're gonna stick their feet into their ears and they're gonna pull out what they can um, on their own using that method. And this can spread them anyway, so I pr prefer to just pull all the flakies and all that junk out and put it into a bag and then quarantine the area that you cleaned them in. I know you don't like it, do you? But I don't like what they do to you, so you're going to have to deal with it. So I'm just going to use a few in there. There you go. Wash my hot water I have provided for myself. And she's off. Good girl. All right, so I have my girl Cloud here, and she has a little bit more severe case. Surely we can catch this. So you can already kind of see it. I'll turn my flash on and see if that fixes anything. See a little crusty, bloody stuff in there. It is not uncommon. To have a case get this bad and go unnoticed and usually it has it means that the rabbit has a pretty low immune system it definitely depends on the rabbit whether or not or how bad the case gets see this is my coconut oil right, baby let's start on this side because it seemed to be the more severe side turn a little bit. I know you don't like this. This isn't the first time I've done this. Here we go. Might take me a bit to bring some up. As you can see there's little flakes. There is blood. There is scabbing. Good girl, you're taking this very well. Well, now I will show you what I do with towels. I like to take a pa paper towel and wrap it around my index, like so, and fold it over the tip and wrap it. Sometimes like I'll dip it in the water first, like this. But I'm going to dip it in warm water with lavender and tea tree essential oils in it. And then either way about it, it is going to be wrapped around my hand. Not so warm now, huh? Which is why I usually like to just wrap it around my finger. Dip it. Then squeeze the water out. Take it. Go in there. And then I, I grab hold of something. Come on. 
and I pull it up. Okay, it got in my hands. This is disgusting. This isn't a very fun or pleasant job, believe me. But it's not pleasant for the poor rabbit to have it in there in the first place. Yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. Beautiful, huh? Nasty. You know what? I'm sure everybody actually wants to see that. a little bit sometimes that's really okay as long as you kind of make sure you put plenty of coconut oil in there to drown them sometimes the rabbits will shake the remaining out and that does that can spread them but if they're already dead not quite so much all right here's more extreme case like as you can see she's not in the greatest Shape. Anyway, I'm not doing that. I'm doing paper towel. These actually aren't full paper towels. I cut them into thirds because of the length of my finger. That just makes things easy for me. Not a must do, nothing like that. Oh, I got it wet before. I actually showed you the inside of the ear. Okay. Pretty bad. Oh god. Don't do it. And rabbits, since they are prey animals, are extremely good at hiding that they have any problems at all. So like, if your rabbit has ear mites in one ear, they'll just sit in the same position every time and hide it from you. Sometimes you can take tweezers to it. Oh no, I'm gonna start shaking now. Don't. on the base, kind of push some of that junk up. It's all the way, way down in there, so I'm going to take it. Nope. I know, you're ripping it up. Do I need to make it tighter? I mean, I don't really want to suffocate you, but it's going to be more harmful of you if you hurt yourself. in there. Just going to try to dump it in there. No. What do you think of that, Chintaya? So, just going to help. I should have done this first. It's gonna annoy the crap out of her. She's gonna shake it everywhere. But it's gonna help with the pain. It's gonna get it soaking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
get a dry paper towel. Dang it! Stressed rabbits are also more prone to ear mites. I guess because, you know, stress does compromise your immune system, so kind of makes sense on that part, too. No! Oh, that's. Nope, it's time to hold still. So we're looking better now. Well, we're probably not coming to the to the, the door anytime soon. Mm-mm. See, that is mostly pus. Alright, next ear. Yay me. Yay you. No. Dang it, she's already beat the system. This one's pretty bad too. I'm gonna just go ahead and start with this. 